All right, folks, we're going to go in and take a look at how to quickly and easily generate some basic statistics for a range of data. So we have a, a line of numbers here from 1 to 18. We're going to generate our mean, median, mode, uh, and then our range and standard deviation. Uh, to generate our range, we're going to have to know our maximum and minimum. There's not a shortcut uh, like there is for the other ones. Uh, so to start off inside of Google Sheets, you have to use a formula. And to tell Google Sheets you need a formula, you need to use the equal sign. Once you've done that, you can start typing in what you want the formula to be about. Another word for mean is average, so I'm going to just start typing in average. And you'll see as I type it in, it will start to fill out there. I'll click on it, and then I have to highlight all of those numbers. So I'm just click and hold from the center, you know, all the way down to highlight those. You'll see that it's a 1A or A1 colon A18. I'll end my parentheses and hit enter, and I will get that. It can go through an autofill, but that's not what I want because that is not correct in this case. So I'll leave that alone. And we get uh, 6.94 repeating. In our circumstance, we're going to only use one decimal point because we have no decimal points shown here. So our answer would be 6.9. For median, I'm just going to type in equals median. I'll click on it, highlight our numbers, and my parentheses, and hit enter. And I get 6.5 as our median. When we go through there and do mode, equals mode, we'll click on it, highlight our information, hit enter for maximum, I'll hit equals max, go through, enter parentheses, hit enter, minimum is going to be the same thing, equals min, highlight them, hit enter, and then our range. Uh, for our range, there's no equals range. If we look in here, it doesn't exist. So we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is just a quick math equation. Our range is our maximum minus our minimum. So I'll equal, and then I'm not clicking on max or typing in minimum or anything like that. I'm clicking on the numbers that are here. So I'm going to click on the 11, and then I'll hit minus, and then click on the cell that has 2, and hit enter. And it will do the math for me. What's cool about this is this, this 11, let's say it goes to 111, all of this stuff automatically updates based off the information I put in. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I really like Google Sheets or Sheet programs in general is because they automatically update. The last thing that we need to do is do our standard deviation. So we're going to equals STD and we'll get standard deviation as our first one. There are other ones that we'll talk about later, but we have just regular standard deviation. We'll highlight all of that, put it in and hit enter. And we have our standard deviation. And that's the basic stats for what we're doing with Google Sheets.